In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for the SF5 positive ion. So the first thing with Lewis structures, we count the valence electrons up. So sulfur group 16, sometimes called 6A, 6 valence electrons. Fluorine's in group 17. It'll have 7, but we have 5 fluorine atoms. And then this positive charge here for the ion, that means we've lost an electron. Electrons are negative. When you lose a negative charge, you become positive. So we're going to lose an electron here. So we have 35 plus 6, that's 41 minus 1, 40 total valence electrons for the SF5 positive Lewis structure. We'll put the sulfur atom in the center of the Lewis structure. It's the least electronegative. Fluorine is the most electronegative element on the periodic table. And then we need to put five fluorine atoms around here, distributed around this central sulfur atom. So we have 40 total electrons. We're going to distribute them around this atom here. We'll start by making bonds between atoms. So if we put a pair of electrons here, that's a chemical bond. Next, we'll go around and complete the octets for each fluorine atom. So at this point, we've used all 40 of our valence electrons. Each fluorine has eight valence electrons. That's an octet. But the central sulfur here, we look at this central sulfur, it has two, four, six, eight, ten valence electrons. That's okay though. Sulfur can have an expanded octet. It can have more than eight valence electrons. So that is correct. Often we'll see brackets placed around the structure and then a positive sign out here. We'll also see these bonds between atoms replaced with lines to make it a little bit neater. Let's do that. So that's the Lewis structure for the SF5 plus ion. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.